as Dangerous Ted Bambi. Timekeeper at the bell is Richard Clark. Referee in charge of the action is Mr. Ian John Lewis. And this is eight three minute rounds. Tommy? Oh, I am the referee. Obey my command at all times. You both have the rules. Watch the heads, kick them punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Eight rounder then. Ted Bambi in the royal blue trunks, flying out of Brixton in South London. Ricardo Silva in the Argentine national colours, white with pale blue trim. And Buenos Aires. Big fight this for Ted Bambi. He's got world title ambitions. He's had one crack at a world title before. Fought Samuel Malinga for the WBF version. Was stiffed in three. Would love a crack at Colin Lyons. That might happen, you never know. But both boys have got to win tonight. And in the shape of silver, 99 fights so far, 100 tonight. There will have been nothing, Dave McCauley, that silver won't have seen before in his pro career. No, and you can tell by looking at this guy's face. Look, look at the experience that he has on his face here. A total concentration. He knows the game inside out. He knows exactly what to expect from this guy. He's probably watched video tapes, the whole lot. So this guy's got a wealth of experience which money cannot buy. But now, Bambi here all... has to like, he has to impress tonight because if he wants to get a crack at this at this at this uh, light welterweight uh, world title, he has to win here in impressive style and, and, and do a good job tonight. But he's up against a very tough, wary old customer, and it's not going to be easy. It's very not going to be just so. plain sailing. And to make matters worse, as you're all fight veterans watching this now, you'll have noticed that Silver is a southpaw, right hand, right foot forward, and that always causes problems, David. Yeah, it makes things very difficult for you because they do everything back to front and it's very hard to nail them with a good solid shot, you know. They're a nightmare to fight. Oh, like, I, I fought a few myself and uh, I didn't fancy the job at all. Well, there are two traditional ways to counter the southpaw. First of all, get your lead foot outside his lead foot, which prevents movement, and whack him with your right hand. And the third alternative, which is often recommended, is drown them at birth. <laughs> Which you would recommend, eh? <laughs> I fought so many, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Round one. Stop boxing! Stop boxing! And Bammy knows he's got to impress, and sometimes when you know that maybe your entire career could hinge on one fight, it stiffens you up just a little bit. He just has to take his time here to work his way in, take things oh, nice boy. and easy. Don't be getting overawed or don't be getting overexcited. Just work your way in and work for your openings and they will come eventually. If you keep at it, if you keep working hard, your openings will appear. Well, the openings have already appeared once for Bambi because Silver bleeding from the nose and we're only in round one. Them go, them go! Stop boxing, them go! But you can bet everything that there is not a little wrinkle, a little dodge, a little ruse that Silver doesn't know and will use if he has to. Silver, let him go! Silver, let him go! End of the first. Well, I reckon Bammy probably shaded that. Dangerous Bammy, well... Of the 17 wins, nine have come by the short route. And there is Daniel Silver. Nothing much happened in the opening round, just these two guys just feeling each other out, just to seeing. That was just, it was either a clash of heads there. I seen uh, Silva just clasp his nose. I don't know what it was, I just didn't see it properly there, but I think it was a clash of heads. But it always said it hurt. Here it comes again. Yep, oh, clash Ouch. of heads, yep. 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 Bang. And a little Silva winces, you can see. And the corner don't seem too concerned about that. No swab sticks up the nose to stop the bleeding. Just blow, thank you. Second round, round two. Second round then of the scheduled eight round light welterweight contest here in Brentwood. 
Bammy in the blue, Silver in the white. Wait! Let go, let him go. Silvia, hold it, let him go. Wait! Ian John Lewis. Don't hold. Instructs. Silver, order silver. Watch the holding. This is what yeah, Bambi getting busy go. now. This is what he has to do, Dave. He has to get in there and knock this guy out of his stride. He can't stand back too much, you know. He has to just really let the punches go from all angles here. Once he gets in close, let them fly, body and head. Well, that's absolutely right because this guy is so experienced that if you let him, he'll just box on autopilot for eight rounds. You've got to knock him out of his rhythm. You've got to try and present him with something a little bit out of the ordinary, something that he hasn't seen Wait. before. Bammy trying to work the opening. Centre ring, which is where he should be if he's going to dominate this fight. But he's silver. Boxing well on both going forward and going back. It's a sign of an experienced boxer that. Some boxers very good coming forward, bad having to box on the retreat. Silver seems able to do it both so far. He's scoring well inside these little short chopping. That's to the body and head. Again, in John Lewis breaks him up. And you can tell that Silver's just going to try and spoil Bambi's rhythm. Just to sort of mess him up inside. Hold. Use that little bit of height difference he's got. Just to just make himself an awkward opponent. Yeah, what he's trying to do is that he's trying to frustrate uh, Bambi here. He's trying to make him lose his temper, which is... Uh, uh, is a, a big, big, big mistake when you're in the boxing ring. He's trying to frustrate him so much, he's hoping now that he'll just throw punches willy-nilly and run in and lash out. Look like he's doing now, you know. And, uh, no knockdown. No, he's not a knockdown. Wrestle to the canvas. But this shows you how frustrated Barry is getting so early on in the fight. He had to settle down and take his time and stop running in and jumping in and throwing punches from... from uh, like we can see them from the back of the hall here, some of the, the punches that, that he's throwing. He's been too over-anxious. There's no real rhythm to Bambi at the moment. He's, he's, he's coming in behind big, quite wild right hands. And that's not doing too much. This is a ploy by Silva. This is a wily old dogger. He oh, right hand! And he's not going to get a run on the belt. The count is seven, nine. Second round, clean knockout. That is a literally stunning victory for dangerous Ted Bammy. Boyd, you couldn't see that coming, and Silva certainly couldn't see it coming. The first time he's been knocked out since September 2001. Watch this. Here it Dave. comes. Bang. Just as I spoke, a lovely right hand right. Bang on the chin. Full power. Look at that. He just drifted. He's trying to point the back of his head there. He just nailed him right on the spot. And Silva was never getting up. Good stuff. Fantastic stuff. Clean right out of the blue. Nobody's seen that. Not even your idea. Absolutely not. Fantastic win for Ted Bami. Well, amazing win for Ted Bammy. I tell you something, we're going to pause for a moment to get our breath back. Join us back at ringside in Brentwood right after this break.